The strongest hero was the fabled warrior Hercules, known for such feats as defeating the Hydra and capturing the giant Erymanthian boar. In Udragoth, the strongest hero is the mighty Dave the Barbarian, known for such feats as... as... What is he doing? I'm crushing logs so I can make fabric from the wood pulp. <gasps> it's going to be so pretty. Uh, yes, known for such feats as making pretty fabric. What a waste of muscles. Pulping wood for fabric, bending iron bars to make a gazebo, carving granite with his bare hands to make a lemon juicer. Pathetic. When we're sitting under a nice wood pulp fabric shade in our new gazebo enjoying frosty glasses of lemonade, you'll thank me. Oh, man, if I were strong like you, I wouldn't do that kind of junk. I'd smash things and beat up monsters and smash things and find treasure and smash things. <laughs> I'm sick of being a weak, defenseless little girl. Delivery for... <laughs> a letter from Mom and Dad! Oh, no. Dad wrote it. No one can read his handwriting. Dear family. Looks like door flabbily. Hide these later, Hosen. Hate these Luganheimy. They are very, very dangerous. They are furry, furry dinosaurs. Love and kisses, Dad. Owls and donkeys, Dad. Owls and donkeys right back at you. <laughs> I sure miss you guys. Whoa, cool pants! <laughs> hey, they shrink to fit. That could catch on someday. Ah! Those are just too ugly to look at! Okay, calm, calm. Think about flowers, butterflies, new shoes, unlimited lines of credit. Ah, that's better. Ah! Bang! Have you been digging for treasure again? Uh, only a little. Get me out of here! Yeah! Ah! Holy reduced calorie sandwich spread! What happened, Fang? Suddenly you're as strong as you smell. What a coincidence, huh? I was just wishing I was really, really strong, and now I am. Yes, it's almost like someone's controlling your fate, turning your life into some kind of oversimplified story. Isn't that weird? Wait, isn't that weird is my line. Darn it. It's these later holes in Mom's set, Dave. They must be some kind of magic super strength pants. I knew there was a simple explanation. Look out, world! The mighty Fang the Barbarian is here! And so, Fang embarks on a series of great adventures. She smashes things. She smashes other things. She smashes things that, although they're a lot like the first things she smashed, are definitely not the same thing. She pilfers treasure from ancient temples. Praise be to great Nathabu, he who sees all. Look! He who sees... Half? She battles hideous monsters. Ow! You broke my nose. It's all straight now. A monster can't have a straight nose. I'll have to see a plastic surgeon. Gosh, I'm really sorry. Well, let me make it up to you. Wow, thanks. That... Psych! Oh, you're so evil! Yes, evil. 
Note the arched eyebrows, the pointed ears, the red and glowing eyes. Fang has even developed an evil laugh. Hey! I know I'm evil now, but I am not doing the boo ha ha thing. No, no, never, no! I hate that! I'll give you a treat. Good evil girl. Okay, why the blindfold? It's so I don't accidentally see Fang's ugly pants. Do you really think Fang's pants are the ugliest thing about her right now? <laughs> Mom and Dad are calling on the crystal ball from a distant island paradise? Thanks, Baffy. Hi, kids. We're fighting an evil volcano monster in Hawaii. They drink coconut milk here. So, how's everyone doing? Pretty good. We just called to make sure you got the evil garment beast of Yagornsog. Uh, this garment beast, um, it, it isn't by any chance Lederhosen? Of course not. That's a relief. It is pure evil in the form of Lederhosen. Jabbers. Anyway, the garment beast will take control of whoever wears it and use them to have revenge upon the man who stained it years ago. Remind me, honey, who was it who stained the Lederhosen? Oswich. Me? <laughs> Be the volcano monster. Aloha. <laughs> I knew I'd seen those pants before. Indeed, Oswich had seen the leader who's in long, long ago. Yo, Ozzy. Dig these later hosen. They give me super strength, but they're gradually turning me evil. Fire out, man. <laughs> Want some rocky road? Oh, bummer. Don't worry, that won't stain. But of course it did. <laughs> and as everyone knows, pants can really hold a grudge. Huh. I would have sworn Fang would never do that boah ha thing. She hates that. Uncle Oswich, run! <laughs> Thus begins an action-packed and tremendously expensive chase scene. <laughs> yes, all around the world, Oswich flees, seeking something. Seeking... Seeking... Oh, oh my. Some savage beast who only wants to smash and destroy and... Wait. Yes, you are. Must fight Lederhosen. Must be myself. Must be... Must be 90 degrees in here. Could someone turn on the AC? Must fight. You can do it, Fang. You have free will. Look, it says it right here in the script. I have free will. Looks like it's revenge time! Ah! What are we gonna do? Well, let's see. How do you fight an article of clothing? Is it me, or have we passed that same door like 50 times? Ha! I know how to beat this monster! Okay, good luck! Yeah! Ah! Ha! Behold! Your washing instructions! Ah! My run -ritness. Just as I suspected. Cold water wash. Line dry only. Uh-oh. <laughs> what are you doing in the tub? We've got evil pants to fight. But I was all schwitzy from the chase scene. Yeah! <laughs> I'm wrinkling. I'm wrinkling. Fang, are you okay? Of course not. You know I'm allergic to baths. What are you doing in here? Destroying the later hosen. Yay! Ah! Ah! It's got my eyebrows! It's got my eyebrows! Put it in the dryer on high. That'll finish it off. Laundry dryers haven't been invented yet. Then use the hair dryer. Ah! I'm shivering. Clean as a whistle.
whistle. Can I take the blindfold off now? Sure. Uncle and Towel! Uncle and Towel! It's the hairy back, isn't it? Gee, Dave, I wanted to be strong so bad. And in the end, it wasn't strength that won. It was careful attention to laundry instructions. I guess you've learned something, huh, Fang? Yeah. I learned that you have really tender eyebrows. Ow! Oh, eyebrows! Hey, who needs to be strong when you can force a strong guy to do stuff for you? Smash that! Ow! Oh, okay! And smash that! Eyebrows! Now go smash that! I'm doing it! Smash that too! <laughs> oh, let go! Is peaceful in the kingdom. Uh, peaceful in the kingdom of Udra. The kingdom of Udra. Oh, I see. All is not peaceful in the kingdom of Udragoth, as Fang once again tries to force Dave to be a barbarian hero. You're learning, Dave. Every barbarian hero's got to know how to ride a horse. You glued me to it. Boo hoo. Lisa gave you a safety helmet. Bang! You gotta stop doing stuff like this to me. Right. Sure thing. <laughs> but Fang does not stop. Instead, she decides Ow. a barbarian Ow. must practice escaping Ow. death traps. Ow! Oh, ouch! Ow! Ow! The first death trap Ow. is really more than annoyance. The cage of rabid walruses is only slightly more deadly. But the third death trap is the last straw. You have to stop messing with my life. If you pull one more stunt like this, I don't know what I'll do. I know. You should send her to Miss Blue Lungs. Not Miss Blue Lungs School for very, very cute little girls. And now, class, we will learn the proper way to make tea. Then we will dress up our dollies. <laughs> Miss Blue Lungs, what a great idea. Yeah, educational yet evil. Now I won't, if you stop messing with my life! I promise! Barbarian's honor! I'll never mess with your life again! <laughs> Starting now. Later, Dave tends his entries in next week's flower show, a rare variety of periwinkle known as the Purple Winky. I know what you guys would like. Some pretty music! <laughs> Spending all his time raising those stupid winkies when he should be pummeling minotaurs into jelly. Wait, if they grew faster, he'd have more time for barbarian y stuff. Hot diggity dog. His magic wand. Darn it, he's got the child safety lock on. He must have something. Let's see. Magic key, magic feather, magic frog. I'm not magic! I mean, ribbit. Aha! Uh -huh. Magic growth gravel! Maybe a few more. Dave would count this as messing with his life. Me, me, Fang! How nice and good you have made my flowers! I give you a pie. Nah, it'll probably be more like me, me, Fang. You are naughty. Miss Blue Lung will learn you to think in better drawings. Fang. Holy cream, chip beef on toast! I'm in the soup now. Fang, what? Are you... Hey, have you gained weight? A little. Well, I just came up here to water my purple winkies. Have you seen them? Oh, you can water your winkies anytime, Dave. I, I bet you want to go outside for a while. And why would I want to do that? Because there's a poetry contest down at the Clotted Scuffers. A poetry contest? Well, color me there. Have fun. Ow, 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 ow. Quick fighting. Ow. <laughs> for my poems, and I thought I heard something. <laughs> oh, there's nothing to hear! It's an earthquake! No, no, 
no. That's just Dave's stomach. He's hungry. I am? Yeah. Here, I made you some minotaur and jelly sandwiches. No, no. No, 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 no. Go eat. Have a recite laundry. Make me proud. Well, okie doke. <laughs> Switch and candy are trapped in the castle with the ravenous Winkies. Oh, what is Fang to do? On one hand, if she asks Dave for help, he'll know what she did. On the other hand, if she doesn't tell him, her family is doomed. And on the other hand, maybe it's finally time to do the right thing. It's lucky I can't count past two, or this might be freaking me out. Meanwhile, by a really impossible to believe coincidence, there actually is a poetry contest down at the clotted scuppers. And now, mateys and gentlemen, please welcome the poetical stylings of Pink Eye the Sailor! Aye. Seagulls, seagulls everywhere, leaving presents in my hair. It gives my scalp a glossy feel. Who needs shampoo when you can have real? Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Loved it! Loved it! And now, put your hooks together for... Dave! My poem is titled, Ode to a Purple Winky. <clears throat> oh, Winky, 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 Winky. Always sweet and never stinky. Dave! I promised I wouldn't mess with your life, but I messed with your life, but I'm sorry a giant plant monsters are yelling meat and they're gonna eat candy and all switching. You gotta do something! Hey, great poem. I hereby award first prize to this adorable little monkey. You weren't gonna mess with my life anymore! You can get mad at me later! First, we gotta save Candy and then the Lost Witch! My Winkies! What are we gonna do? Squash! Oh, right. <gasps> hmm. That's too big. Sorry. What are we gonna do? Well, I guess you'll. Start fighting or I'll unravel all your macrame owls! Ah! I'll do it! Fiendish Flora, take this! <clears throat> I'm 20,000 years old, David. I'm about as sharp as a bowling ball. There's only one thing to do. Run like scared weasels? Start climbing! Dave and Fane climb the mighty stalk, battling the ferocious vines, inching ever closer to... I'm going to find the goose that lays the golden egg! Take a Yes, our heroes are caught by the terrible vines and squeezed as if by huge, squeezy, snaky things. Mm, snaky things? Dang! Can you reach my pocket? <laughs> Toss it to me! Let's get Candy and Oswich! Don't trouble yourself, Candy. I'll get them. But I thought they were going to eat you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You thought Margo and Terrence were going to eat us? They kept saying, meat, meat. Well, only because we wanted to meet you. Then why were your vines attacking us? Oh, that was you. We thought it was aphids again. So, tea cakes all around. Fang, what the heck did you do? I, I put some of Uncle Oswich's magic gravel on your flowers, and they just started growing. Really? 
Come on, hair. Come on. I know I broke my promise, but you'll forgive me, right? Right? Please, 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 please. Ah, uh, I can't stay mad at you. Dave, you're the best. I promise. No more horse riding. No more death traps. Never, never, never. Ah! Starting now. Dang! Uh oh. Today. My special little angels, we shall learn to balance scrolls on our heads. Then we shall learn to apply our lipstick and mascara! And the blue ribbon for best in show goes to Dave the Barbarian for his purple winkies. Uh, could you ask him to put me down now? It's nearly time for some Hakuna Matata with those grub grabbers Timon and Pumbaa, next on Disney Cinemagic. They just love bugs!